So I'm going to my brother's wedding. They're getting married uh, up in Washington, D.C. So um, we have like a five or six hour drive ahead of us. I'm going to meet my sister at her house and um, we're going to go from there. It'll be like a Thelma, Thelma and Louise road trip. So I'm, I'm really happy for them because they make a really super couple. And I've had um, a good experience with marriage myself. So my, my Neil is a sweetheart. Just this morning he packed up all my computer stuff for me. I don't know, I just felt like he was my little valet, valet boy fetching me things. And he helped me find my silver shoe, which was missing. And he's gonna take care of our three kids while I'm gone. And um, I know I'm not gonna be worried because I know they're in good hands because he's a good boy. And he doesn't have a temper. It's very important, you young ladies out there. You gotta marry someone with a sense of humor got to marry someone that you can talk to and be friends with first. Of course, you have to be attracted to them, but that's not the number one thing. Um, in my book, they also have to love God because then they'll do what's right. That's important to me. Also, put on their intelligence because if you marry someone just because they look good or got money and you can't really have an intelligent conversation with them, then it's just not going to be fun. So they have to be intelligent. I mean, they don't have to be super rocket scientist smart, but I mean, I've, I've dated people before that, um, I don't know, it just bugged me because they couldn't spell. Of course, Neil can't really spell either, but um, I don't know, it would, it would bug me because I felt like I was smarter than them. So to try and get someone either smarter than you or <laughs> someone that you feel like <laughs> you're smarter in some things with and they're smarter in some things with. But anyways, that is my marital advice for you guys out there that aren't married. I get a whole day where I don't have to like change a diaper and stuff, so that's kind of exciting. I'm, set. I'm excited for the wedding. So I stole my uh, husband's sunglasses, which actually I didn't steal them. I was just driving his car to my sister's and they happen to still be in there. So I bought, th I haven't had sunglasses for years and I'm getting like these wrinkles around my eyes and it's really bad to not have sunglasses because of the glare on the road and stuff. So I bought myself a $3 pair of sunglasses and Brenna was playing with them and left them on the floor and then in the nighttime... When I went to go get Dylan one time, I stepped on them and they broke. So, <laughs> I'm going to wear my husband's. These, I remember buying these for him. I think they're Oakley's, so they're like kind of halfway expensive, I think. They're a couple hundred bucks. But anyways, I always feel like Trinity from the Matrix when I'm wearing them. I know where you've been and I know what you do night after night. And I know... I know why. Come with me. <laughs> I always feel like Trinity from The Matrix. I don't. I don't even know if she says that in the movie, but I know why night after night you come here. Blah blah blah. <laughs> There's my sister. There's my sister. Who could resist her? <laughs> She's got a pregnant Billy Billy. Arriba. <laughs> So anywho, this is our grand road trip and all our many great adventures. I am going to dig in. She brought this yummy, yummy chocolate cake. I didn't have breakfast, so I'm going to dig into this yummy chocolate cake. Mmm. It's like an Otis Spunkmeyer muffin, she said. So that's really going to do the job. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm going to be like all those people on the Food Network. And they're like, this is what they're like. Mmm. Mmm. That was just out of this world delicious. Can you guess who that was? That was Paula Dean. She's one of my favorites because all of her food is fattening. Plus, she's a southern gal. You can't resist a good, a good southern accent like that, you know? Mmm. 
It is delicious. Mm. And very desirable. <laughs>